There are many questions facing the printed world in this digital age. Is there a future for the printed world? The magazine industry is facing the biggest change in its history and folks are looking for answers. The future of the printed world in a digital age was the theme of the Act 2 experience that was hosted by the Magazine Innovation Center at the University of Mississippi. We tried to answer the question about what's the future of magazines and the printed world as a whole in this digital age. Experts from all sorts of the media world came to Oxford, Mississippi and offered their opinions and advice about the future of the magazine world. We've asked those experts three questions. Question three, how do you see the magazine industry's cup? Is it half full, half empty, or what? I think there's a really bright future for magazines. Um, and part of that is because it's not just about printed magazines. Uh, it's, about, it's about brands and it's about uh, connecting with an audience through many different formats and, and many different platforms. Uh, but the magazine uh, at its core is, uh, it's about curating content, it's about a point of view, it's about having a really strong voice, and most importantly, it's about making an emotional connection with an audience. And uh, what's really exciting and what's promising is that there are so many other ways to make that emotional connection. So it starts with the magazine, um, but there are so many other tools now that enable you to speak to an audience. So I would say that it's a, it's a really bright future for magazines. I'll tell you that I think we're heading into the next golden age of publishing. I think it's neither half full or half empty. It's spilling over in joy. Um, it depends on how you define publishing. I define publishing as information distribution. It's the distribution of words and thought. I am indifferent as to what substrate those words are on. So if you're including publishing as any way to distribute a good idea that's worth paying for, we're in better shape than we've ever been in before. Okay, for sure not half empty or half full, which is probably what everybody will say, because it is the easy way. Now, uh, they don't want to get wrong, but I will have the courage to be wrong twice. I think it might be either empty, totally empty, or full, depending on how you will be able to think in terms of transition to the new era. If you want to keep, to hold on what you have, well, your, your, uh, your cup is empty. Uh, get a life, do something else. If you are ready to change everything you have and to, to, to close your eyes and to jump into the future, cool, you got a, you got a, full, uh, a full cap, uh, sip it. I think I'm very optimistic about the magazine industry, especially when it comes to integrating uh, you know, with all these new tools that are out there to you know, help improve the print product. You know, and it gets down to having this um, relationship with the reader that is only gonna get better by using social media, by using these new applications that are available. Uh, so I come from the place where I'm very optimistic about everything moving forward. The magazine industry right now has seen a weeding out. Um, I think we were so full prior to this recession, um, and I'll call it a recession, I don't know that it really is, but prior to a slump in the magazine economy, um, those that have experienced weaknesses are those that are totally advertising dependent, and as advertising went by the um, not the way of the world, but as you saw weaknesses in advertising, it affects publishers dramatically. Um, if you are a subscription-based magazine, you're not as vulnerable. The softness in newsstand sales is a concern to many publishers because the discretionary income of consumers is what drives that business. Um, I think the magazine right now has stabled a little. It was in a volatile decline. Um, last year was really a bad year. We saw tons of magazines close, even big ones that we had you know, grown up with. But I think the magazine industry is redefining itself. I think we're uh, learning that it is fine to charge for a magazine a fair price, um, that we don't have to give them away. People will pay for quality editorial, and I think the strong magazines that will survive will be those that will do that.
they will economically not be dependent on on one aspect mm -hmm. of the media, but it will be uh, multiple. It will be newsstand subscriptions, advertising, and sometimes ancillary sales and uh, events. I'm the old one optimist. I always think it's uh, mostly full. I mean, maybe it's 80% full. Uh, uh, for the same reasons I just gave you, I think it's uh, it's it's maybe more challenging, but you know, it takes creativity. And if you if you uh, are a creative person and you have a uh, uh, you know, in my field, I always think first you make it different, then you make it better. And that difference, whatever it is, <clears throat> can help you succeed. Cup runneth over in opportunity for magazines' futures. I think that uh, the idea of print being dead, the idea of uh, uh, print somehow fading away in any, in any, in any way in the, in the near future is inane. Uh, and I think that uh, you, there's a lot of opportunity to, to, to launch a lot of great media properties and I think that all of this great technology and all of the amazing things that drive thought and innovation into any industry are, are very viable. Uh, as I said earlier, I think the, the printing industry is alive with change and, uh, and I think that, that it's overflowing. I don't see it as half empty or half full. I see it as very full. We always see any opportunity as, as half full. You know, we, we, we are always looking at new opportunities and I'm excited about our future, so I'm, I'm excited about the future of the industry in general, even if it undergoes a number of changes. Uh, so I've, I've always been very positive about the, 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 the future of the magazine industry, of the publishing industry. I think there's always been change. We're going through an extreme version of change at the moment, but I think there's a lot of positive comes out of change, so I, I absolutely am yeah, half full. I think the, the publishing industry's cup is, is three quarters of the way full. I don't think it's useful to talk about a magazine industry anymore because we all sh are and should be branching out to many media, all the different ways that we can reach people who want our information and inspiration. I, I see the, the magazine, um, um, magazine industry, the people who work in the magazine industry at a lot of the larger, uh, more process-oriented companies to be looking at it, um, uh, the industry in a very negative way. They don't necessarily believe in the industry. But I see people, uh, uh, newer people coming into the industry, or people who, who were, that created these products, um, very optimistic. And I think we saw it today with the entrepreneur downstairs who had a tremendous uh, set of magazines and then retired and came back and is extremely successful today. I think it's really having, it has to do with passion and it has to do with people who believe in the industry that they're in. Well, I'm always I say things are half full. The Magazines Industry Cup, uh, yeah. I think we as magazine makers, we are in the, in the business of the taking care that it's always full. It's our thing to, to, to do. I mean, I, th I think it Based on what I said at the beginning, it's really half empty. I mean, I think magazines are going to become, they will take less and less of the reader's time. You'll get, they will get less and less of the advertiser's dollar. I'm not saying that magazines are going to go away, but there will be, I think there will be fewer magazines. The few that exist will probably be better magazines, but magazine market is, the magazine business is not a growing business, I don't think, going into the future. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of upside in, the, in this business. There's a, there's a lot of opportunity. And so it's, is the cup half full? Half full in the sense that there should be a, a good dose of reality that the business is challenged. Um, what business isn't challenged today? I mean, you can look at the broadcast business and you say, boy, their business is challenged. People aren't watching TV like they used to. Certainly not the broadcast networks, because the cable networks have stolen a lot of the share. So they're challenged. Radio's challenged. Outdoor's challenged. Um, you know, technically the only one that's, that's not challenged is the digital media. But they have their own challenges. So, you know, I think, I think magazines, as long as they the industry understands that the, there's a need to really address the business models that have existed for years and to evolve them and figure out better ways to monetize their content. 
Because if it's all about content, then there should be a, a better path to getting consumers who are willing to pay fair value for that content. Fair value for the magazine itself, fair value for that, the content, the, the branded content from that magazine that manifests in these other technology platforms. If it's continually being given away for free, it just further commoditizes the whole. And that's a challenge. And so that's what I mean about the business models. And the business models for subscriptions, the business models for uh, newsstand, yes, they're at times broken, so they need, they need to be addressed. And, they need, and people just need to be willing to have the fortitude to make some decisions about their business and its scalability. There are lots of big magazines out there today that will remain big, strong magazines. They may need to be more profitable or should be more profitable by figuring out some of these scaling issues and taking cost out or reallocating where, you know, where appropriate um, and the balance between the, how much advertising you get versus your rate base and your total circulation and the source mix of profitable circulation, all of that becomes really important for the sustainability of, of magazines. And, uh, but that nothing is so daunting in any of that to say, boy, there's really not a good future for magazines. There's a wonderful future for magazines. There'll probably be, a, what, a thousand new magazines that launched this year. Um, on average, I think it's close to that. So clearly there's, there's, a, there's a great opportunity. And um, again, I think it's, it's just incumbent upon those in the business to be willing to get their customers to pay for the branded content in ways that drive profitability, but, but also drive the right experiences that they, the editors are trying to create with those, the, those readers with, and the brand. And, you know, if the customer comes first, which it always does, then the opportunity to figure out ways for that customer to pay more, but feel good about it, instead of feeling like they're somehow um, getting taken. And I think there's huge upside, you know, for, for consumers who are willing to pay for, for anything that's good. I mean, we all do it in, in, you know, publishing and everything else in our lives. You're willing to pay more for something that you believe in and, and, and that is a strong product and a brand that you embrace and have an affinity for. And so, so therefore, you know, there's, those that don't do that will find the business even more challenging and that cup much less full. But those that do will just continue to thrive. And I don't know if it's one in, a, in a, such a, a static state, you can call it anything. Um, I mean, clearly, you know, you look back at the 80s, uh, that seemed like a great time to be in print publishing. Uh, so sometimes I think we're incredibly lucky to be at a time of transformation. I think it's, it's more fun and and interesting. I think, um, you know, in terms of pure profit and uh, all the stuff that uh, financial people like, you know, clearly the 80s was a, a, a cup all the way full time. Um, so if, if, if I have a choice of half full, half empty, or all the way full, all the way empty, I guess it's, it's half full, but I think it's really more uh, a, a tempest in a, in a teacup is a better metaphor. You know, I, I, you know we're, we're really a company that focuses on children. We, we publish a magazine for children. I, I think they're great opportunities for magazines who've developed a soul, who have a soul and have developed uh, strong relationships with their readers because that relationship creates a brand and creates great opportunities on any platform. So I think it's a great time for the magazine industry even though uh, we know we're struggling with a lot of issues as an industry.